course, we need the power of the Holy Spirit. We fully embrace the scientific method as American evangelicals. And we think as time goes along, as we discover more and more facts, that we'll learn more and more about how God created the heavens and the earth. The scientific method clearly demonstrates that the world is four and a half billion years old. I mean, do you accept that? Yeah, you know what you're doing is you are, you are accepting some of the views that are accepted in some portions of the scientific community as fact, where in, where in fact your grandchildren might listen to the tape of you saying that and laugh at you. You want to bet? Sometimes it's hard for a human being to study the ear or study the eye and think that happened by accident. I beg your pardon, did you say by accident? Yeah. What do you mean by accident? That the eye just formed itself somehow. And who says it did? Well, some evolutionists say it. Not a single one that I've ever met. Really? Really. Oh. You obviously know nothing about the subject of evolution. Or maybe you haven't met the people I have. <laughs> but you see, you, you do understand. You do understand that this issue right here of intellectual arrogance is the reason why people like you have a difficult problem with people of faith. I don't communicate an error of superiority over the people because I know so much more. And if you only read the books I know, and if you only knew the scientists I knew, then you would be great like me. Well, sir, there could be many things that you know well. There are other things that you don't know well. As you age, you'll find yourself wrong on some things, right on some other things. But please, in the process of it, don't be arrogant. We just had a rather disconcerting experience. We were just packing up our stuff ready to go, and he suddenly drove up in his pickup truck and said, get off my land immediately, I'll have you thrown in jail, and I'll seize your film. And he then said a very curious thing. He said, you called my children animals. Afterwards, we worked out that what he must have meant was that I talked about evolution. He thought I was saying that his flock were animals, which, of course, in a sense, I was, because all humans are animals. My